What's cracking YouTube? My name's Brody and welcome back to episode number six of our Pokemon Y Wonderlock going down on the channel as of late. So in the last episode what we did was we cleared out Route 22 Det Detnor Way, I believe it's called. I did a little bit of grinding there um, to get Kangaskhan up to par with everyone in the team. Uh, we caught, oh, I can't remember what it was, it was a Flabebe uh, here on Route 4. Wanted to trade that off and we got a Squirtle which is awesome, such an awesome one to trade, I'm so glad to get that. Uh, but yeah, so we made our way to the fountain here halfway through Route 4 and that's all she wrote for the last episode. So last episode was pretty grind heavy, but we did manage to get Squirtle which is pretty cool. But talking about Squirtle, let's do a party recap so you guys can see where we're at and everything. So. So we've got the level 10 Kangaskhan with Comet Punch, Leer, Fake Out, and Tail Whip. We got Flare, the level 11 Fennekin with Scratch, Tail Whip, Ember, and Howl. We've got Taillo, level 12 with Brave Bird, Growl, and Focus Energy. Hopefully we can get something like a little bit more easy on for Taillo, something that does a little bit less damage than Brave Bird without the recoil, just in case we get in that situation where health is low and all that sort of stuff. You guys know what I'm saying. But then we've got the level 13 Gibble with Sandstorm, Dragon Rage, Outrage, and Iron Head. Like, that's a powerhouse. Absolute powerhouse. And then we got Squirtle with Tackle, Tower Whip, and Water, Water Gun. This one is level 7. So yes, that is the party. What we're rocking right now. So let's get out of here. And in today's episode, what we're going to try and do is make our way towards Lumio City. So there are a lot of trainers on this route. Get here. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, so we're gonna fight our way through these trainers and make our way to Lumio City and then head to Professor Sycamore's lab and choose our Kanto starter, which we, we will be wonder trading off. It is a gift Pokemon, so that counts as like an encounter. It's not like an encounter for Lumio City, it's a gift encounter, I guess you could say. But yeah, let's go. So we want to go Comet Punch. So that should be fun. But till then, let's experience what Route 4 has in store for us. And clean up. We're on clean up duty for these last two episodes, I say. This is like the, uh, the calm before the story kicks back in, I guess you could say. Awesome. Gotta watch this XP. God damn. So EXP share sh should be... So we need to turn EXP share off, because that is going to be a pain. And we got Wing Attack, okay. I'll take that. Squirtle. Roller Skater Roland. Thank you for the XP. We'll have to... Let's fix that up. Right now. Bag. EXP share. Off. Yep, thanking you. So yeah, we're gonna keep EXP share for grinding. Hey, get here! Hey! Yeah, that's what I thought. I love Pokemon battles, but they'd be even better if I didn't have to stop skating. Well then, don't have like a skate-off kind of battle. Roller skater, Kalita. That's a fledgling. Let's go, Kenny's gone. So, I don't know. Um, Lumio City. We meet that weird twin pair up at the end gate here. Let's go, Fletchling. Yeah, so it's going to be pretty, pretty chill this episode, we're just going to um, make our way through this route, from what I know. From what I know, there are a lot of trainers and we need to get all the XP we can get. I um, I was going to throw this into like a little grinding montage, but I kind of want to save that for Lumio City, as I want to export through there and get all the items and all that sort of jazz um, when we get there. But till then, I think we'll just play through and just... Soak it all in, take in the whole first LP experience. But let's go. Who's next? 
You want a piece of me? I love my Pokemon. I love my Pokemon. Of course you do. Pokefan Agnes. Sends out to burn me. So I think we'll get Kangaskhan to like level 14 and then we'll um, swap out. And main myth. Oh, we should actually be training up Squirtle. So let's do that actually. Oh, she sure does love her Pokemon to use a super version on her Burmy. Come on, get three hits and see you later. Yeah, that's what I thought. Take a rest, Burmy. You did well. Okay. So we got level 11 flare. I will leave Kangas Khan out for this battle. Dang it. Dang it. I didn't mean to press Faker. Come on and punch all the way. Usually get the free hits, which is the KO, which is all we need. Awesome. With these levels though, like seriously, these levels are out of control. Bernie, go away, seriously. Burmy avoided Comet Punch. God damn it, Kangaskhan. Pick it up. Get punched. Good night. Alrighty. Appreciate the battle, Pokefan Agnes. You and your Pokemon look like you have something stronger than mere love. Of course we do. There's more than bonding that goes on. Okay. Actually, we might just make our way up this right-hand side, and then I'll throw the left-hand side into grinding. Otherwise, we're, we're gonna have no fun, no story in this part. So we need to we need to get some story in this part. So let's make our way up through here. We'll battle one more trainer. So let's get that little kid. Where'd you go? Get here. There we go. Check it out. I just traded for a cool new Pokemon. What'd you get? What'd you get? Did you get a Bidoof? Oh, lovely. Well done. I think I think that was a very good trade. Kids these days, I tell ya. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, Kangaskhan. Clean up. Splish, splash, splish, splash, splosh. God damn it. That was a pretty cool backpack, though. You guys see that Charizard backpack? That was pretty cool. So let's get Squirtle up front. Let's go one more trainer. Hopefully this guy here wants to battle. There we go. I can tell by the look on, on your face that you love Pokemon. Thanks. Okay, fan Gabe. Pichu, lovely. So let's hope that this Pichu does not have Thundershock. We're pretty early on in the game, so hopefully, uh, I don't know. No, I'm not, I'm not risking it, seriously. It's not worth it. It is not worth it. Go Gibble. I wouldn't, I wouldn't think Pichu would have Thundershock yet. But let's clean up. That animation though. Pikachu. So let's do a quick little switch train here. Oh, Squirtle. Oh, yeah. So 
swap out, go back to Gibble for that ground resistance. Play nice. Play nice, guys. Gibble's attack fell, that doesn't quite matter. Uh, Pikachu's hacks, the straight hacks, stop it. There is no need for that. Oh, he can't. He can't. Alrighty. So that's the last train. I'll, I'll clean up the rest of them uh, at the start of the next episode. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Nice job, Squirtle. Squirtle, Squirtle. This battle made it even more clear to me. You really love Pokemon. Thanks. Thanks. I know. Let's get out of here. Yo. Hello there. Have you ever heard of a Pokemon called Flabebe? Oh, I see it's registered in your Pokedex. That's what I, I would expect from one of those professor's hand-picked Pokemon trainers. Flabebe is now, brace yourself, a fairy type Pokemon. Oh yeah, because fairy types are the big thing, I guess you could say. Uh, this turn, the entire type match up system on its head. Okay, so they're just in introducing the fairy types here. My name's Sina. It's a beautiful name for a beautiful lady. My name's Dexio. Two years ago, uh, Professor Sigmore entrusted me with a Pokedex. You, you could call me a Pokemon Voyage a veteran. If you'd like, I'll show you the way to the lab. So come along now. Yeah. Let's go. Hey, bruh. So how are you and Squirtle getting along? Oh, yeah. Appreciate it. TM27 return. Right through this gate and you'll be at Lumio C. Mm -mm -mm. This would have been such a big thing when the game came out. You just see that big cutscene of the whole city. You see people running around, you see cars. It's like, whoa. I'll go ahead and wait in front of the lab for you. Follow her that way to the lab. Look at this little cutscene, that is awesome. I can't wait to see what Pokemon Sun and Moon has in uh, that kind of aspect. But let's get get our skates on. There we go. This building is Sycamore's Pokemon Lab. Let's go inside. Yeah, let's. Mm -mm. The lab music though. You've traveled a long way from Vanville Town, but you're finally here. The professor can't wait to meet you. You can find him on the third floor, so hop in the elevator. Okay. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh, lovely. Good bloke. I'd like to go to the third floor, please. Please? So we finally meet. Oh, that music though kicks in. Fantastic, you're here. Come this way, won't you? Come this way, won't you? Looks like a cool poster, I wanna read it. I'm the professor. The professor. They call me Professor Sycamore. Many thanks for coming all the way from Vanville Town, I'm Professor Sycamore. It's a pleasure to meet you finally. How is your Pokemon journey come, uh, going so far? Have you met many different Pokemon? Fantastic. Let me have a quick look at your Pokedex and see. Hmm. You've seen 33 kinds of Pokemon in the Central Kalos. Oh. Oh-ho. Oh-ho. 
the pages are getting filled and starting to look good. Well now, do you have a certain Jenna's says clock? <laughs> I, have a, I have a good feeling about you. At first, I was thinking of choosing only one child from a town when I was deciding who, who to give a Pokemon to. In Vanville Town, it was going to be the child of a veteran trainer I know. About then, I learned the Rihon racer, Grace, and her son were moving here. I love that name, Grace. Here in Kalos region, you're far away from everything you used to know. That really hit me right here. Then it hit me, I should give you a Pokemon and have you travel around Kalos. Hi, hey, Professor, it's Shorta! <laughs> Sorry to have kept you waiting. Fantastic, let's all have a Pokemon battle. Your opponent shall be me. Oh god. Oh god. Let's just wing it. Yeah, we shall start a battle. I'm not that tough. I of course you're not that tough, man. You were challenged by Professor Sycamore. Oh, wee wee. Oh. Professor Sycamore. Okay, well that's not good. Bulbasaur against Squirtle. Let's get Flare out here. We'll get that quick XP. Get the level on Squirtle. Oh dang, that's nasty. That's set up though. So there's three. So Flair's got this, it's all, it's all good. Flair's got this. Love Bulbasaur's little cry then, that was pretty cool. Bulbasaur, Bulbasaur. Let's go, Ember. Awesome, level 12, and then Squirtle should go up as well. Excellent. Hmm. I think against Squirtle, my best Pokemon would probably be Squirtle. Kangaskhan's lost a bit of hell. Let's just go Gibble. Why not? Why not? It's battle thing though. Love it. Kinda has like a black and white kind of vibe to it. Let's go Dragon Rage. I wonder if it's still a one-hit KO. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry guys. Gibble is just too OP. Seriously. It is out of control right now. But you already know who's coming out next. We got Squirtle. We got Squirtle. Alrighty, I think we could end today's episode off with a one trade. Good timing. Dang. So it's gonna take three hits. Look at these, look at these Kanto starters going at it. S straight power on the field right now. Hey little Squirtle, go and get him! Oh, I love it. Get him, Squirtle. Shell Shocker. Good old Shell Shocker. Let's go, level 12. We beat the professor. Haha, -ha, you're too much for me. You're into something, aren't you? Yes. Oh dang, paying out the big bucks, 1400. Appreciate it, Mr. Professor. I think I've got, I, I think I've about figured it out. Figured out, figured what out? Amity. You are an interesting Pokemon trainer indeed. It'd be fantastic if you took another Pokemon with you. Yeah, pick one. Okay. Okay. Ooh, 
Well, I'm thinking we've got Squirtle. Let's let's go Bulbasaur because I think Bulbasaur needs a little bit more love in the uh, community. So we'll want to trade out a Bulbasaur. Let's be like really, really classic with the nickname, and let's go Greeny. G R E E N Y. Good old Greeny. It's a nice little, one. nice little nickname. Straightforwards, very, very straightforwards. Yeah, good old Greeny. Since you chose Bulbasaur, I'll give you this Mega Stone, the Venusaur, right? Not bad. I should have chose Squirtle. No, I should have chose Squirtle and got the. Uh... <laughs> oh well, it's all good. It's all good. I could have got the. Damn it! Could have got Mega Blastoise. But that's okay. What's this? Everyone is here already. One four. Be the best trainers you can be. Yep. Thanks for the uh, encouraging words. Mega Evolution. I'm um, guess so here they introduced Mega Ev Evolution into the game. Mega Evolution sounds really interesting. I wonder if they have like a similar thing for like Burst Evolution for like the um, Ash Greninja kind of thing in uh, Sun and Moon. Now listen, if you visit many different places to complete the Pokedex, you'll probably see Pokemon with many ways of living and meet people with many ways of thinking. First accept the ways of living and thinking that sometimes conflict with your own and think about what's really important this will truly broaden your horizons I feel I feel that being different from others makes me special mastering mega evolution will definitely set me apart from other trainers cool well we're here with the gang so as you guys know uh, when we get a new Pokemon we must want to trade it off straight away so let's go and let's want to trade this off alrighty so there we go we're finally into one to trade blah 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 so it's level 10 bottle, so it was a calm nature with tackle growl, leech seed, and vine whip. And let's go. Okay. Come on, Grinny, come through. I wonder what we can get. Come on. Here we go. Trade battle ready with Elliot from the United States. Didn't want to say what state he was from, but that is okay. Thank you, Elliot. Hopefully you're tr one of trading straight power today. So Granny was level 10, I believe. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. We got eight Ponyta. So I'm thinking Ponyta may have to chill in the box because we are uh, we do have flair hmm no nah, I want to use I want to use Ponyta actually so let's let's check out the Ponyta that we re uh, we received looks like they're uh, breeding for a shiny Ponyta but yes we have a level 1 Ponyta with Tackle, Horn Drill, Hypnosis, and Flame Wheel. That's not bad. With the um, ability Flame Body, contact with this Pokemon may burn the attacker, so that's nice. And yeah, it's an adamant nature. So let's, let's let Flair take a rest in the PC when we can find a PC. Hopefully there's one here. Let's quickly sort this out. I'd like to go to the first floor, please. Oh, 
Oh, Lysander. So, I will be able to meet them soon then. Yes. The children chosen by the professor. I wonder what potential they have. Oh, and here's one of them now. That's Amity. Amity, come here. A sec. Tell me what to do. <laughs> oh, you received a Pokedex from the professor then. How wonderful. That is a wonderful thing indeed. You are one of the chosen ones. <laughs> the chosen one. I am Lysander. I've tried to learn as much about Pokemon as I can to help build a brighter future. Professor Sigmar has taught me so much. Oh, I see you have a Holocaster. Knowledge is power after all, but it's a good use. Now listen, it is vital that this world become a better place and the people and Pokemon chosen to make the world better must work tirelessly to achieve this goal. Well, I'll be off. Please give Professor Sigmar my best. My desire it is for a more beautiful world. Struts off just like... Mm. Mm. Still, I wonder what kind of beautiful world Lysander desires. Anyway. Chers. So let's have a look. So there's no PC here. Where's the Pokemon Center? Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Big A, there's a place I want to go check out. So I'll see you around. Latest Shauna. There's something. Okay, see you, Serena. Yo, Trevor. Tiana. See you later. Camp Frio Town. Okay. Cool. Cheers, guys. But we need to sort this out. <laughs> God damn it. Lumio City may be very large, but if you stay on the main streets, you shouldn't get lost. I'm going to go on a little walk. The streets sure wind and wander here. God damn, I get lost all the time. Do like 20 laps around the town going into every building then you might know where stuff is. I think it's got to be a Pokemon Center, is that? No, that's a cafe. I can't even remember where the Pokemon... Oh, it's blocking my way, god damn it. I know there's a Pokemon Center somewhere here. Cafe, there it is. God damn it. And we're here. So let's sort this out. So let's deposit. Flare, you've done well, Flare. You can just be power on the PC though. Yep. And then let's rare candy up. Ponyta to level 10 and that is all she wrote I would say for this episode. Sorry it's been a little bit longer than expected. I definitely do not want to learn Tower Whip. Six. Seven. Eat. Nine. Yeah, we'll learn Ember, I think. <laughs> Let's get rid of Tackle. Horn Drill is going to be interesting. Horn Drill, <laughs> Ponyta. And that's it. Okay. Cool. So, as you guys know why I did that, um, we traded off a level 10 Bulbasaur, so we get back a level 10 minimum, if you know what I mean. So, it's a somewhat equal trade. But yeah, let's go back to the lab. And let's just chill somewhere here. Something like that will do. And let's save it here. Awesome. So, 
that wraps up today's episode. Sorry that went for a little bit longer than expected. I usually try to aim for the 20 to 30 minute mark, but there was just so much story going on towards the end there, which I knew was going to happen. I should have, I should have planned that out. Um, but yeah, so if you guys enjoyed episode six of my Pokemon Y Wonder Lock, be sure to drop a like down below, and I look forward to seeing you guys in episode number seven or another one of my Pokemon trading card game openings. Thanks for watching. Peace.